Hello everyone, this is Denise at Something Beautiful Handcrafts and on my messy table is number 43. Now I won this doll on a Goodwill auction. I just happened to be tipping around. Didn't plan on getting any more dolls, but uh, she is a green eyed medium skin classic mold. And I really have not been able to resist the medium skin classic molds. I have 49 now. I had 40 two kind of regret selling 42 i'm thinking i might do a thing and get uh 42 44 29 and 49 and have like a little collection of medium skin classic molds at any rate i just couldn't resist her so i got her she came in the mail today and as you can see she just needs a little cleaning up she's a little dingy uh, she's a little faded her eyes look in good condition though uh she's got the typical dirt and scuff marks in that that body looks relatively well but she doesn't have any paint or anything like that on her body so i'm not going to really need, need to do any real stain removal just some cleaning let me go ahead and spin her around so that you can see her hair on the back here she is from the back so you can get a good look at her like I said, she looks relatively clean. There's a little spot right here, but that's not really going to be a serious problem to me. Um, as far as I can tell, her hair is the right length. It looks like maybe it was trimmed. Maybe it really wasn't. It's really hard to say. I don't know, but I think I'll be okay with it. Uh, and it actually looks relatively full. I was trying to see if there were any short parts in it for ponytails. Yes, there are. So she does have short parts in the wig for ponytails or braids. This is it actually feels like a really nice thick wig. And you know what? Both 49 and 42 felt like they had really nice thick wigs too. So very pleased about that. I have no idea what year this doll was made. Um, her tag says 2011. That is her um, the copyright year on that tag. And so she was made before the next copyright change, which I think was 2014. I can't remember. But at any rate, she was on the market. I want to say it was 2006 to 2016 or it was 2009 to 2016. But I do know she was retired in 2016. So no telling uh, really how old she is. There's, there's like a little range. Um, I've been told that number 40 well you know what let me check real quick i've been told that um 43s are rare i don't really know how true that is but i've had a really hard time finding any information on her besides her stock photo a few ebay sales and you know just the, the usual stuff just very little information about her i know maybe one or two youtube videos and that's about it. So maybe she's rare. Maybe she's not rare. I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and scrub her up. I'm not going to use the magic eraser on her at the moment. There's a little paint right there. Missed that. It'll come off easily. I'm just going to uh, take a nice rag, a little soap, scrub her up, wipe her body down, and uh, wash her hair. She seems to stand fine. And I don't think she needs to be tightened or restrung. But I'll test that and let you know if that is going to be something that needs to be done. This is a procedure I've done uh, at least 20 something times. And I'm just using water as hot as I can stand using my own um, shampoo. And I am just washing the hair. And I'm going to take the wig brush and brush it through. I uh, discovered a little spot on the eye. And I'll take care of that. Hopefully, I won't have to take the eye out to fix that. In the meantime, discovered an interesting neck stamp. That's pretty interesting. Haven't seen that yet, so got to try to figure out what that means. I'm not going to add any conditioner or anything else to her hair um, I stopped doing that some time ago didn't seem to be necessary and I'm sticking to that just gonna wash 
and shampoo. Generally, the hot water is enough. So here we are after the wash and I took her outside to dry. And just from looking at it, what you can see from here, it looks almost as if it's really smooth. But on closer inspection, there are a lot of kinky ends. And I have to kind of decide what I'm going to do about it. In the front, the bangs are really kind of bad. And back at these tips, they're a little naughty. So I have some choices. Oh, now I can't get her to stand up. At any rate, I have some choices. I could just ignore it, which I've done with several dolls, because they don't have to be, like, display quality. That is okay. Especially once I start doing their hair, putting them in different hairstyles, that's going to change the texture of it anyway. Um, I could do a really, really boiling water donk and smooth it with a brush. That would do some good especially the bangs or I can flat iron it uh, which I may or may not do there's always a risk with flat irons you have to be really really careful but I may do that we'll see how that goes um, I found some more ink spots in a few places and um, oh hang on okay so we're back again <laughs> uh, I did get that stuff off the eye at first I thought like it was rusted and I was thinking oh no I'm gonna have to fix it but there was just some kind of like food or something there so I rubbed that out so the eyes are good she's a little shinier than I like I think I'm definitely gonna do something to her lips just a little something I'm still on a fence about that the white paint came off she could stand another rub that was like preliminary rub. Now we need to scrub. That is off. I found some new ink over here. Uh, I don't think it's going to take much to get that off. And so she stands on her own quite nicely actually. But those limbs are pretty loose. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten the limbs. Uh, of course she has just the knotted limbs. So I have some options. I can undo the knot. And I can re-knot it, or I can slip some um, zip ties in that space, or I could undo the knot and put the ferrules on them like the older dolls have. So I think because I have plenty of zip ties, I'm just going to zip tie it. And the zip ties for me hold just as well as a proper ferrule would. And I always say that I'm just zip tying because eventually I'll get to uh, actually... Um, doing the proper ferrule, but I haven't as of yet, but I will at some point uh, replace strings for the dolls who need replacements and put the ferrules on for the ones who uh, need to. But in the meantime, these guys are my collection, so it doesn't really matter. And the zip ties will do their job. Here she is. Um, you can see in the front, it's a lot smoother. Still a little rough on the ends, but not too bad. Face is nice and clean. I haven't added any color to the lips yet. At some point I'll get around to that. You can see this hair turned out pretty nicely. It's not a hundred percent uh, free of little snarls, but it's pretty close and it looks really small, really soft, and uh, got quite a nice luster to it. So I'm pretty happy with number 43. I think she's going to add quite a bit to my collection. And look forward to seeing more pictures of her in my Instagram. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.